Bloody hell, are we still doing these? OK Errol, cue dramatic music now! For yes, it is a time of much excitement if you're easily excited. It is a four-way battle between four different mystery boxes, which you can subscribe to and each month they give you different mystery... Uh, this isn't right actually, because one of them isn't a box and you can't subscribe to it, it's a one-off. So it's kind of three and another thing... Well, it isn't really... You can't really compare them actually, because one of them it, like, fulfills a specific purpose. Yeah, there's... Cut the music, Errol, cut it! Yeah, just cut it, mate, we're totally overselling this. Basically, I'm going to open four different box mystery things. Bugger it. Let's get on with it. First is Loot Crate, of course, because it's the traditional one, what we do every month, in it. And this month's theme is Summon. I'm expecting a court summons, maybe? Could be pretty pissed off if it is that. Not really much of a treat, but we'll see what's inside. It's a very small box this month, actually. I'm hoping it's full of high-ticket items like rubies and bigger rubies. Um, yeah, last month's was a bit of a no-filler thing, and I'm really hoping they keep that up, because, you know, we're sick of bloody and inflatable shoelaces and god knows what. And immediately Pikachu's face says hello! Oh my god, it's a woolen Pikachu hat! <laughs> From Bioworld? What the fuck? It doesn't Shodan run that? What? That's creepy as arseholes. Anyway, Pokemon hat, headwear, yes. Look, it's lovely. Oh my god, it's got giant Pokeballs hanging off it. Pretty sure Pikachu didn't have that, but we'll let them off. Well, um, it's very high quality, actually. It's, this would cost a bloody fortune in the shops, I think. Mmm, it has new hat smell. But, yeah, sadly, it's not something, of course, I would wear in any way, shape or form. I know somebody to give that to, I know somebody who likes Pokemon stuff, so she can have that, but... Um, yeah, well, that's a good item, but personally for me, it's look, they've even sewn buttons on the Pokeballs for the release clasp thing. Oh. Attention to detail, like it, but not for me, sadly. Anyway, next up is one of these. Thank God for that. Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft Collector Series, believe it. Ah, oh, Hearthstone, that's the uh, collectible card game type thing, isn't it? Um, which I've deliberately never played because I fucking love card games and I get a horrible feeling I might get addicted to it like many have been. Also, uh, I believe it's one where you can buy cards. I'm not sure if that's right, but if that's true, fuck that noise because if you're not both equal at the start of the game and somebody's got better cards because they've spent more money on something than you, then that's a game I have no time for. Playhearthstone.com. Subtle. Yes, yeah, feeling a bit um, promotional like me. I've got to say, it's a bloody good one. It's not just like a shit round ball that they've written Hearthstone on or something. It is actually a big lump of, uh, well, rock stuff. It's some sort of rune thing used in the game, I would assume. And it's all right. Again, not something that really means anything to me. I do like the shape of it because it fits nice in your fingers. Like, oh, it's cleverly done. But, um, yeah, it's decent enough. Uh, decent. I mean, yeah, I'm not going to say it's a promo item, but it's getting dangerously close. But, uh, yeah, it's all right, but yeah. not anything I'd want personally. Oh, God, this isn't going to be something where... This is the weakness, I suppose. When you've got just a few really good items, if they're things you're not interested in, you are up L shitter without L paddle. Right, next up, avoiding the Homer Simpson thing that I might actually like, it's a Loot Crate exclusive toy car. Ooh, I don't recognise it. Supernatural, join the... Oh, shit. A programme I've never watched and probably never will. Some sort of Monster of the Week thing with Sexy Brothers or something, I don't know. Um, 1967 Chevrolet Impala Sports Sedan, great. Uh, again, probably... Uh, is it any good? I'm going to have to open it up to find out. Don't really want to damage it, because there's a quite a heavy eBay feeling to this one so far. Is it just a cheap shit thing? Hmm... The metal's sort of thing's not bad. Yeah, the wheels go properly, but I mean, it's not that bad, actually. I was expecting it to be one of these horrible, cheap, shitty things like those James Bond cars you see around, but it's actually quite nicely done. The uh, paint is very, very good. Um, oh, God, yeah, very, very good on the back. Actually, you've got a decent license plate transfer, not quite in the middle, we're not far off. The quality's right. Yeah, actually, that's for, for a little toy car in a thing, that's not bad. But again, sadly, it means nothing to me personally. I can't hold that against. Uh, Loot Crate in general, because possibly you guys at home like this programme. I imagine you would, they wouldn't include it, but um, it's not doing anything for me. Come on, get back in there. I still want to keep my A++ feedback. It's a shame they've put this Loot Crate exclusive thing plastered over the top. There's completely different colours to the rest of the fucking box, just to ruin it. I mean, obviously it's not something you will display in the box, but there we go. 
And really think about it, it's just a 1967 Chevrolet Impala sports sedan. So unless somebody is extremely knowledgeable on Supernatural, they probably wouldn't even recognise it. But uh, yeah, well, if you like Supernatural, you'll like that. Please, Homer, oh God, there's nothing else in there. Please, Homer, save me with your weird donutness. Oh, it's Kid Robot, them what make the collectibles of The Simpsons. You buy, very lucky. English, very poor. Um, this is not a toy. Oh, that's a shame. Right. Let's see what it is then. If it's well, yeah, these are usually in foil bags. These ones, in my experience, kid robot, which uh, actually in real life is neither a kid nor a robot, which I feel is uh, a bit misleading. Right, how do we open it? Should be a cut thing. There we go. And it is literally <laughs> a weird little Homer Simpson uh, living on a donut and looking a bit buddery, which I think is the idea, really. It comes with these bags of, uh, there's a pretzel and some sort of prayer beads thing that I think are supposed to be like Marge's necklace or something. Let's have a go at that. Oop. Unfortunately, this bag is the hardest thing to open in the freaking universe. Come on. Ah, haven't got any scissors handy, which is annoying. Should have done that when there's loot crates and stuff around. How does it show it on here? It doesn't. Hmm, I was looking for what was in his hands. Right, pretzel here. And I was going to say surely he'd have a donut, but actually he basically is a donut, so I think I'll give him that. I feel like that should be the other way around. Ah, there we go. And that can sit through like that. And that's quite nifty. I quite like that, in a way. Um, I always feel like, I don't know, Simpsons merchandise has kind of peaked, maybe like many years ago, but uh, it's still a nice thing, and I'll tell you what, it's got a bit of thought behind it. I like that. Well done. It does remind me of the old game Tubin, if you remember that, where you control some guys going down an incredibly long river in inner tubes and throwing cans at idiots for some reason, but uh, it wasn't a good game. Anyway, that's that. Well, that looks like all the major items. Oh, hang on, there might be a... A uh, comic or something. Loot Crate, September... Right, there's this weird... Ooh, what the hell is this? There's always room for another. Scratch off gently with a coin. You scratch off gently with a coin, you rude fucker. Play free and enjoy a card pack on us. Battle not what is this? I don't... It's like a bit of card. It looks pretty on the front. What is it for? Enter your free card pack key. Oh, it's for Hearthstone. Oh, yes, you do buy card packs. Well, screw you. I'll stick that on Twitter at some point, that code, and you can have it. And I shall put a question mark in it so the Autobots don't nick it. As in the automatic bots, not the Autobots from Transformers. Fucking Optimus Prime doesn't come down with Hound and nick your codes. I hope not. Oh, God, that'd be weird. Right. Loot Crate's Master Summoner. Free mobile game. Developed right here at Loot Crate, this free mobile game has awesome augmented reality activities you can only access with the help of a fully constructed summon ca Oh god, have I got to do that on camera now? Make sure to visit lootcrate.com summon book for instructions so you don't miss out the fun. Right, we'll cut to that and do that in a minute. Oh god, I'm going to more crap on my phone. Right, what else have we got? Uh, a load of this. Um, Summoner Wars card game that consists of five cards. I'm going to say that's probably quite an easy one. And the book of stuff that nobody cares about. And I'm one of those people. And that's your lot. Well, it's a very small amount of stuff. However, the stuff, it must be said, is very high quality. I mean, that hat is amazing quality. Uh, the car's decent enough. The little Buddha's quite nice. And even the um, squeezy thing's all right. But sadly, Nothing that particularly interests me greatly. Actually, this might go down to the wire a bit on what this Master Summoner game is like. <sighs> Jump cut. Right, I've made the box up into this exciting tome called Summon, the Art of Conjuring Loot. I'm presuming this has some sort of, I don't know, assisted augmented realityness to it. And I've got the old game running on the phone. I was going to get it running on my Android phone, but it's just managed to completely destroy itself, so I'm really fucking happy with that, as you can imagine. Anyway, here it is on to the phone. Right, so it starts up like this, and it's basically just said, click to collect gems. I no longer fear death. Right, so what's... Press this button and some shit goes down with this cuboid wizard at the front. And all these crystal things go... What the fuck is this, man? Fucking hell. 
and people go, oh, I don't want to play those old retro games from the 80s anymore. Oh, there's no gameplay in them. Yeah, when I get your phone out, you just tap on the fucking screen like a bloody chimp. Right, I've got 100. Can I do something with a camera? Locked, locked, locked. What? Well, how do you get the augmented reality shit? Oh, please, until you have to collect a certain number. What? What does this do? Gem upgrade. Increases the amount of gems you receive per tap. What? But tapping is all there is. Tapping, what's this fucking, what's that cookie game? Um, cookie clicker, it's exactly that, isn't it? Gem multiplier. Increase your gem multiplier power up when swiping down. What? And summon loot. Summon items, right. That sounds more interesting. There we are. So now something's happening, and I've got a little box dog thing. Can I do it? No, I can't do that. Why? Why? Right, let's press this a few more times, because I'm sure that's going to be endless fun. Swiping down appears to do a thing where he goes mental. Oh, so it's gone power up, and I'm not fully understanding. He's uh, gone super cyan or something. And. Which, so what does the swiping down do? I didn't really explain that at the start. Right, so this buy something from the shop of dreams. No, you've, you've got to. See, see, when I press a button, something has to happen. That's kind of the basic point of uh, any program. Right, gem upgrade, gem multiplier. Okay, let's have one of those, and one of those. And thank you very much, Mr. Shopkeeper, who isn't written into the game. Oh, here we are. Look, keep going down, and it fills the little bar around him. All right, gotcha. Ah, oh, dear me. I did miss an awful lot of things from just looking through the bloody viewfinder. Look, here we are. So it's now times six, times three. So I've got like 400, because apparently that's interesting. I mean, it's it's well presented, but what the, what the fuck is this shit? I don't... Um... So... <sighs> Gentlemen, I think we just witnessed the death of entertainment. So, basically, um, I am going to say that this wasn't that great a box, to be honest. The stuff in it is high quality, and there's no filler shit, which is great. I'm a little bit borderline about the old squeezy uh, stress thing there. But, um, yeah, the games ain't worth shit to nobody, so uh, unless you really want those th <laughs> couple of extra Hearthstone cards, that's probably not worth your, uh, what is it, $30, £20? Unless you really fucking want this hat and are massively into Supernatural and Homer Simpson. Um, what a weird thing. Anyway, time to move along. Out of the way, you boys, for there's a new green box in town, and it's called... Oh, hang oh that's right. I thought I hadn't cut the bloody... I keep doing this thing where I forget to cut the sellotape and then try and open it on camera and obviously it's stuck. Right, this is One Up Box, which is like... I thought it was going to be a more video gamey thing as the One Up, but apparently it isn't necessarily. It's just very, very similar to Loot Crate. Um, it's basically exactly the same price as well. You're looking at $30, £20. So what's it like inside then, lads? We're hoping they're going with the all killer, no filler, which is my new catchphrase, or at least it would be, but I think it's already somebody else's. And we'll see what occurs. Right. Oh, hang on. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm trying to open it upside down. It opens differently to the Loot Crate ones. Well, well done. Share, snap, enjoy. I do love the way they tell you to do those things on these boxes, and uh, I, I'm not allowed to punch them for some reason. Oh, God, well, let's get this out of the way. Right, straight away, it's one of these bloody things. Um, well, the good news is, these are, you know, very expensive if you like these. Daubs. Daubs from Vinyl Sugar. Oh, Vinyl Sugar. That would be poisonous, you stupid bastards. Right, anyway, um, yeah, it's a vinyl collectible of Wolverine from... The now, this is uh, collating several things I dislike. Um, well, one thing, all right, I'll, I'll give it this. It doesn't look like one of these bloody, what's those dreadful ones, mighty mugs or whatever, where they're all just the same bloody body and they paint them differently. At least the head is obviously sculpted to be Wolverine. But I never like these super deformed things, and I shall tell you for why, especially with ultra cute ones, because it doesn't fit the character. Unless it's something like, I don't know, Mega Man, where they've got a really big head, then you know, how is this Wolverine? And this one manages to lose even more points because he looks all cute. What the fuck has that got to do with Wolverine? If Basically, if you put that on your shelf, you were saying, I have no concept of the character Wolverine, but for some reason I like this pretty yellow thing. It's just, I don't get it. And if I don't get any of these big head collectible things. And God, the amount of them I, I see you guys buy at um, MCM, the comic convention. Some people have bags absolutely full of these things. It astonishes me. Um, they're not going to be worth anything in the future, you know that, don't you? Remember Beanie Babies? Yeah, anyway, I mean, if you like that sort of thing, it's great. It does say 007 on it, so it gets a point for that. But, um, yeah, 
this is really bad. Don't tell me it's two boxes full of things. I don't pass it. There must be something. Blimey. Some, where's something for ashens? Just throw me a little bone here. Oh my fucking god. One up box exclusives. My god, we were saying at least it's not a bloody stress ball. <laughs> this stuff on it. And then, oh my goody arms. This is just a cheap shit stress ball. You know, he's still got the bloody uh, moulding stuff on the outside. With four stars now. I mean, that's got to be relevant. So it looks vaguely familiar. Now I've seen that. Oh god, I'm not going to be able to place that. That's going to annoy me. Somebody's taking it in the comments. I'm sure it's a reference to something. But um, yeah, this is just kind of a cheap fucking filler bullshit nothing. Oh dear. I mean, you know, if you're going to do a bloody stress ball, at least mould it into something interesting like um, Crazy Luto Boys did. Anyway, what else we got? We have a badge, a one up box. Deadpool is a panda badge. Right, uh, just get my head round the mini concepts on offer here. So a Deadpool Butter Panda. That's a bit of a strange mashup. Maybe that's a thing. Maybe it's a Kung Fu Panda riff. Maybe there's been a comic I missed out on. But um, yeah, well, if you really like Deadpool and pandas, that's that's one for you. Totally ruined, by the way. They put their bloody logo on it. Oh god, I thought it was only Luke Crate did that. Anyway, next up, hooray! Something decent. A Pokemon wristband. Again, not something I'd necessarily want personally, but yeah, it's nicely made. It will work as a uh, sweatband. Rub your brow when you've been running your miles. But don't rub that side because it'll be less effective because it's got the clasp thing on it. But uh, yeah, that seems decent quality, actually. Um, yeah, that's quite nice. Well done. Well done. I can go with the hat and go to the same person giving the hat to. Oh, there's a t-shirt. I don't know why I sounded surprised there. I had actually noticed that before. What is the t-shirt? I do like a good t-shirt. I like the dark grey colour, actually. It's a bit different. Um, it's... Ooh. It's some rather nice, I am guessing, Zelda Wind Waker, because he's on his boat like and looking a bit cartoony. Oh, don't put your bloody logo on. What is it about you guys and your bloody logos? Um, but yeah, oh, it's quite nice actually. That's really nice. Good work. Top t shirt. 10 points, no pass. Oh, for fuck's sake, they give bl these bloody things as well, really? One up box combat. Oh, there we are. I didn't know the theme, but the theme is combat. Oh, now we know. And. Uh, those can go straight in the bin where they belong. Marvellous. Right, and what else have we got in here? We have... Oh, no, uh, they don't go for the bullshit booklets, so they get an extra point for that. They just give you a leaflet which says what's on it. Oh, some combat stickers. No, a one combat sticker. What is this combat sticker? Ah, right. We've got to recognise all the different uh, Smash Brothers characters by the looks of it. Oh, yeah, there's Pikachu having a massive shit by the looks of it. It was interesting. You've got Jigglypuff, you've got Mario, you got Mega Man, or Rockman, as he is known to his parents, and Charizard, and um, Ryu, and the villager from that game he's from. I can't remember where he's from. He's from Harvest Moon, he's from Animal Crossing, I just can't remember. And there's a man with a giant fist who I can't immediately recognise, and that'll do for that. Yeah, sort of sticker. It's all right, but it's a bit uh, cheapy. So what did we get? This thing, which is probably horrifyingly expensive to buy on its own. Um, good t-shirt, uh, sweat band, badge, and yeah, some items of less interest. I'm not entirely sure that's worth your 20 quid or 30 dollars, but um, yeah, it's not far off. It's, it's sad that now Luke Gray have got rid of the filler. I've got another box which has it in. I mean, that bloody stress ball, that has absolutely taken the mick. Deary me. It's not even a squeezy humph. On the other hand, you could throw it at an animal and frighten it if that's something you really need to do with your life. But there we go. Oh, oh God, I've got loads more, haven't I? Right. I'm just going to check the date this was booked for my P.O. Box, 2nd of the 9th, 2015. Good. I'm glad that's sorted. And throw down... Oh, my God. This one is, compared to the other ones, which are fairly small, boom. Shake the room. Tick, 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 boom. Well, are you ready for me yet? Pump it up, Prince. Yes, it is. Lutaku. Now, there's a bit of a story behind this one. This one is from Hong Kong. And basically, um, it's for people in Hong Kong. As simple as that. Um, they do ship um, away from Hong Kong, but it would be very expensive. You'd probably get hit with customs and that. It's basically a sort of Hong Kong thing for Hong Kong people. And I'm doing it here for two reasons. One, it's an interesting contrast to the other bits and bobs. And two, uh, I plan to go to Hong Kong next year, so I want to uh, be nice to the people who are there who may be watching my videos. So, the way this works is, apparently, items like this sort of stuff have a huge markup in Hong Kong and are really expensive to buy. And so by using this subscription box, 
box model and having a massive box of them, you can therefore get a load at once. It's more expensive as a result. Uh, it is 380 Hong Kong dollars, which uh, equates to about 50 American dollars, which is about 32 pounds. But they only do higher ticket items. They have no filler stuff whatsoever. That's like their ethos. Or so they told me. I haven't actually looked at what's inside yet. Right. Let's have an open then. Oh, I, oh, I did do the things at the side. Blimey. I keep catching myself with that. Right. And, oh, bubble wrap. My favourite. I do like a bit of bubble wrap. Hey, headphone users. Oh, didn't do anything. Hey, headphone users. Nice headphones. Right, um, what have we actually got? Oh, a big, a very uh, glossy thing. Telling, oh, telling us what's inside it. Don't spoil it. Right, oh, straight away is another bloody bubble <laughs> of a Daedric warrior from Skyrim. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. You have to do that when any Elder Scrolls game appears. It's the law. I could have also had the Doverkin. We had that. Didn't I get that in like a loot crate before or something? Just not in as nice a box. Can't remember. Alduin, six inch, and the Daedric warrior here, which is the one we've got. Well, that's... It is nicely done for this kind of thing. I don't know, I just don't like these bloody things. I mean, the Daedric War is supposed to be like a horrible, demonic bastard who's going to carve your kids up. And here he is with a comedy huge head and bulbous eyes. <laughs> just doesn't do anything for me. But if you are into this sort of thing, which I think about 93% of my audience is, then that's probably a good one. Maybe it's an exclusive. I have no idea. Does it say it on the thing? Um, no, it doesn't. Okay, we'll assume not. Next up, pulling something out at random. Ooh, Breaking Bad, Heisenberg Collection. No, it's another vinyl figure. Obviously, these are the things which have the big markup. Right, what can I get then? Gus, Saul, Mike. Gus with half his face blown off. Different Saul. Well, I presume it's different. Can't see that one. Walter and Jesse in their hazmat gear. Collect them all. Walter, Walt Jr. Oh, we call him Finn. Heisenberg, Jesse, Jesse, Hank and Marie. And there he is with his tidy whities and all that. Oh, and a batter tub. Oh, God, you really do not want to be getting the batter tub. Hang on. Why is Marie on here, but we've got no Skylar? She's like a far more major character. It's been a very odd character in fiction. She puts up with more crazy shit than anybody in the entire world possibly could as well. And instead we've got Marie, who shoplifted once. That's kind of odd. And uh, RV. It could be the RV. Which one do I want? I don't want the bloody batter tub. That is well a short straw. Um, how about... Oh, I was going to say the RVs that look less cute, but nope, they've seriously cutified that. Um, I want Mike or Gus with half his face blown off. There we are. And we are going to get... Mm, very plasticky smell. Oh good, we've got Walter in his pants. Well, I will say it's very nicely moulded and constructed. But yeah, it's got the weird Lego Man arms. It just doesn't interest me greatly. But, um, well, there's a thing then. Marvellous. Right, next up. Oh, it's a big square thing. Oh good, it's a Minecraft TNT box and a, a hair. Hmm, an added bonus I wasn't expecting. Um, yes, Minecraft TNT with its plush, and if you like Minecraft, that's probably a thing. That's going to go to my godson, I reckon. Well, um, yeah, this is really weird. Breaking Bad is like the only thing I've got that I'm actually interested in that and the t-shirt so far. It has been a day of disappointment for Senor Ashen. Um, next, ooh, there's only other, I was going to say only one other box in here, but it's pretty massive. Wolves World, World of Warcraft Cataclysm, Deathly. Ooh. Premium BlizzCon 2010 Souvenir Collectible. Oh, so you wouldn't be able to get this anymore. That's interesting. I don't like them. Definitely looks like a little dragon thing. I'm not familiar with the Deathlings. Have a peek. Oh, it's got to be constructed. Uh, we'll just get a gist of it. There it is, it's sitting on its parapet. Oh, proper metal to hold it on there. Oh, God. Is that the thing that causes the cataclysm? Because it's got the, like the face of that on the front of it, hasn't it? Isn't there some sort of big meteor that smashes into the world? Or is it a dragon that... Do you know, I don't know the story of Cataclysm. So I'm beginning to regret starting to talk about it now, because I kind of don't know where I'm going. Uh, it looks a bit weird because of the eyes. I'm going to be honest with you. Especially because the rest of the paint is all this sort of uh, dry brush subtlety. <laughs> and then you've got big goggly eyes. Oh, lads, oh, wait for me. <laughs> oh, God, it's him. Don't make eye contact. I can't knock my eye contact. They're looking everywhere. 
Well, that's a thing if you're into Warcraft. Um, again, I don't know what sort of value this would have at all. Um, I imagine it would be quite rare because it's you know it was only given away at BlizzCon five years ago. So yeah, well done for finding those up wherever you got them, lads. But there we go. Um, there's oh no wait, we've got there's a couple of comics in here actually. That's interesting. There's a Borderlands comic. Borderlands comic, really? Oh, fair enough. Um, yep, for fans of the Lands of Borders, the old uh, first-person cel-shaded uh, loot fest game. I'm trying to think. It's cel-shaded, isn't it? I hate that. I know something, and then you kind of imagine it, and now I'm not sure I'm remembering it properly. Anyway, also, Random Damage, Legend of the Seven, <laughs> Chapter One. Ding! So yeah, this is a very large format comic. Um, hmm. I'm going to open that up and see what it is. I've not heard of this. Maybe it is an original thing. What a world it would be. It is. Ah, uh, yeah, this has the look of a uh, more sort of short run thing, doesn't it? It looks a bit webcomic y in a way. I think that could be by the uh, way it's been shaded. I don't know. Oh, well, that's a thing. I'll look at that at some point. Well, there we go. Um, if you are in Hong Kong, that is your choice for getting this sort of stuff massively reduced and not having to pay big import fees because they don't charge you on the postage. But it is 380 of your finest dollars. And now... If you were unimpressed with any of the items here, they'll all seem like the fucking crown jewels next to the bag of utter arse wash that I'm going to show you. I know what's in this one. It was given to me at uh, MCM in London, I believe, the big comic convention from somebody who came up to the stand and went, oh, we just bought this because we thought it'd be good for you to review. Or had they looked in it and realised it was shit and then just decided to give it to me to review? I don't know. But basically, apparently, well, I'm going to have to say apparently because I haven't been had a chance to look around uh, the MCM for years because obviously I'm just at the stand all hours of the day, and I don't even go for toilet breaks unless I have to, because, you know, the queues must be managed. Um, it's just a green bag, and it says on it, £15 lucky bag, with a picture of a hat. Value inside, £30. And apparently it was just a stall, which was just like selling these. Which is hmm, interesting. But what do you get for your £15, and is it really worth £30? I'm going to give you a subtle hint now. Uh, imagine the letter N followed by the letter O in glowing letters of lava a million fucking high, miles high. Um, right, this is what you get. Jangly catty is thing to put on your head and look like a twit and make lots of noise. Comedy confused fat face shitty rubber purse. I mean, it's really rubbery and awful, actually. You put your water money in it or something because it's right. I don't know. Oh God, it's all cheap and horrible. It's got look, hasn't been uh, properly taken off the um, mold. Ooh. What else have you got in your lucky cat bag? Dead pig soft keyring. And finally, oh no, not finally. There's two more things. We've also got this kind of wood badge that has a bit of glass showing a sort of generic space background and faceless rabbit keyring with um, loads of thread coming off it. <sighs> that was apparently £15. So whoever gave me that, thank you, bless your hearts for wasting £15 on that utter fucking shit that they claimed was worth £30. Cheeky, guys. Cheeky. On what planet is that worth £30? Probably a planet where rubber is some kind of amazing weapons-grade plutonium-style rarity. Oh, dearie me. Right. I've gone on for far too long. There's been so much stuff. I've got to make Deathwing now. Oh, sorry, Deathling. Hang on, so it's like a little cute version of the Deathwing. Maybe it doesn't look that cute. Uh, why has everything got to be bloody super deformed these days? I don't know. Subscribe for more.